Hi and welcome back to Picket Fans YouTube channel. My name is Emily and in this video we are going to celebrate a collaboration between Picket Fans and Pear Blossom Press. And as you may know, Pear Blossom Press is uh, known for their light up mechanism and we are going to create a light up card today featuring some products from both uh, Pear Blossom Press and Picket Fans. So I started off by die cutting this beautiful die called the garden topper and it was a part of a picket fans latest release and i cut it out of white cardstock and then i started to color it in with my olo markers and i will speed this up for you so you don't have to see all of my coloring in real time because it took a little while to uh, color all of this in but i had a blast doing it and if you haven't tried out coloring in your die cuts you really should uh, it went super nice to do this. I just look at the image and try to figure out where the shadow would be and just to create some dimension and where the leaves would be and so on. So you can see here I colored in uh, all of my flowers in a variety of colors. We had the blue sort of lavender down there and we had some for me this looks like lemons but i know exactly what kind of flower it is but to me it looks like uh, like lemons and then we have this purple flower we will have a pink flower here in the middle so we are going through the <laughs> nearly the entire rainbow and you can see i picked two to three markers for all of my coloring today and i went back and forward just to really get that intense uh, colors that i wanted for my flower and you can see the leaves here. I just did some flicking motions to create that interest in them. And I also switched out which color combinations I used for the greenery just to get a variety there as well. And for a last bit of um, um, greenery here, I picked the same blue tealish color combination just to tie it all together. And I think that worked out really nice. You can also see that in my or on my work uh, surface here, I just took a piece of plastic because I know I will go outside the lines a couple of times and I didn't want to mess up my desk here with some ink. So I just did that. And um, then I will create sort of the, uh, the window board here. And I just will be cutting that out with a die from the basic die cutting set one. It's a newer one from Picket Fence and I also cut out the window there and the pa paper that I used was from the Basket Weave uh, Fabulous Glossy Cardstock. It's also a newer one that was a part of the latest release and it's just amazing for details like this. Uh, when I had that cut out I realized that I wanted some more filler image uh, images for my flower box so I cut the beautiful garden chopper out once more and then I will fussy cut, cut out uh, two of the images that I will be coloring in once more and then I will tuck them into the, the flower box. You will see it here in a second. So I also twisted it so that this part will be um, sort of mirrored and then I also colored it in in the same color combination that I did with the first one just to tie it all together and yeah I had a blast creating this card it was so much fun and uh, yeah you can really play around with this beautiful die set so here you can see how it looks when I have it sort of uh, laid uh, where I thought I wanted it so I just took some liquid glue and I will press it into place you can also see that I took that part that I think looks like a lemon and I will tuck it into the lower part here also just to fill in that image uh, I was once again contemplating having it to the background but then I decided to um, switch it up and have it in the front instead I will have my flower box there just to check so I have the right height for that flower so I don't cover up too much and then I can just cut away the exit part there and I will use some liquid glue just to hide all of those that I had attached. You can see here how it looks really nice and you can also see that I cut a cream colored uh, panel for our card front here. And we will play around with that in a second. You can see how the window is coming together. 
Uh, to hide our mechanism for today, I will have the flower box, but I will also have a diffuser <laughs> or whatever you will like to call it. And I chose a very um, light vellum. You can see, you can see all the lines underneath my vellum there. So you can really see through this stuff. Uh, and then I will cut away the, I just angle my scissors a little bit to cut on the inside of this. And um, you can see how uh, the window is taking its form. And then the fun part comes, we're gonna use some uh, of these lights. We have the sea light, the twinkle lights. You can see they come in two in each pack and then we have the one light. And all you need comes in these packages. I chose the ease light. It was the first one I shared with you there. I'm just putting my battery into place and then pressing it to make sure that it lights up. You can see you have three little lights there that you can play around with. Before I attach everything, I wanted to create the sentiment for my project and I will go with a sentiment, you make my day brighter. I just thought it was fitting for the card we created. I heat emboss that on top of some black paper. And by the way, all of the products that I'm using in this video will be listed down below, as well as all of the information about the video hop that this video is a part of. So remember, you can go check out uh, all of the designers that are creating today and you will have a chance to win some amazing prizes from both of these amazing companies. So go and do that after you have watched this video. So you can see I took just a um, glue dot to the back of my uh, little light up mechanism there. It actually comes with a couple of uh, glue dots. Uh, I accidentally threw mine away, but if you look at the packaging, you can reuse those and have them just attached to your card. I think it's uh, a little bit easier just to have it attached when I'm doing this step, so I know that everything is where it should be. Then I cut small pieces of see-through uh, tape and I will tape this down to the back of my window here, just holding it in place, making sure that everything is lighting up and that I have it in the right spot. Sorry, my hand is a little bit in the way here. And I did the same thing for my second and my third lamp. And then I will just hide all of these cables on the back of this, but I'm just making sure all the time that, I'm, that I am um, having and all the lights working and that everything is um, where it should be. I'm also checking so that the battery is hidden behind our flowers. And then I have to raise all of this up to make sure that the light button isn't pressed when the card shouldn't be light up. Uh, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. And yeah, I'm just going around putting some adhesive to all of the spaces on the back. And they, there we have it. I will just gently push it down and you can see here that it's working. And on top of this, I will put our sentiment and hopefully the recipient will sort of um, know exactly what to do. I just tried it out before I committed to this. You can see I can still move it. I haven't deattached all of the uh, papers from the foam tape in the back. Now I did that so you can see how that looks. And this is also on top of our cream colored card base that I will attach to our uh, card base. And this one is a 5x7 card, so it's a little bit larger than your normal A2 size. It was just because I had so many elements that I wanted to make sure I could fit on this card. So on top of that brighter, our light up mechanism is and the recipient, you can write something inside so re the recipient knows what to do with the card. and. I will show you here in when I'm turning down the lights in my studio here how everything looks. I hope you like this project and got an idea of how you can use these two uh, or these products to together to create some light up cards. They are really fun to create and the recipient will definitely love the products that you created. Uh, go check out the collaboration hop. I will have links down below for all of the products and of course to the hop. And until next time, have a great day. Bye!